In this video I'll go into how you can use Wealth Index Controllers or the Wealth Lighthouse Track Controllers with any VR headset that can be used with SteamVR. So that means uh, the Oculus Rift, the Oculus Quest and the VMR, VM, double VMR headsets like the HTC Reverb or Reverb 2. Um, you can read the video description where I have added links for the software I needed, uh, links to a guide on Reddit and some other details. Um, what you will need is uh, the Valve Index controllers or if you want uh, other Lighthouse based controllers like uh, the Vive, uh, Vive controllers or Vive Pro controllers. Um, and you'll need the Lighthouse base stations. Uh, should work with both uh, V1 and V2 um, Lighthouse base stations. Um, and you'll need some way of uh, connecting the index controllers to the PC. You can use uh, Steam controller dongles, uh, but they need to be reflashed. Or you can use Vive Tracker dongles, um, or you can also use uh, some Wealth in uh, Wealth headset. Um, if you have a Wealth index, you can use that for connecting the controllers, or you can also use a, a Vive headset or some other Lighthouse-based uh, headset. Um, because maybe you have already got uh, that or actually um, getting the dongles right now are pretty difficult and you'll need a one dongle per per controller. So if you can't find any of those you might actually be able to find an old uh, Vive, HTC Vive headset and you can use that as uh, as your dongle connector for the controllers and one headset can connect two controllers while you always need two USB dongles. Um, if you want to use wife triggers with this setup you can also uh, you also need dongles for those on top of um, of the dongles uh, you need to be able to control the control uh, connect the controllers um, or if you just want to use wife triggers uh, this video should work as well because it's pretty much the same procedure. Um. Of course you'll also need a second VR headset, uh, the one you want to use with the, the index controllers. And, um, and you will have issues uh, if you want to use an Oculus Rift uh, you can't play Oculus Rift VR games uh, with the index controllers, and if you use an Oculus Quest, you can't use uh, you can't play Quest games with the index controllers. But if you use an Oculus Quest, you can connect the Oculus Quest with the virtual desktop, and then that uh, use uh, uh, something called Revive that can enable you to play Oculus games with Steam VR headsets, and then actually use the in index controllers to play Oculus games that way. But that can also be done uh, for VMR headsets and, and regular Valve tracking based headsets. Um, you will also need some software. Uh, you will need OpenVR Advanced Settings. I have a link to that here and I'll also put a link in the description. Uh, latest version right now is 5.3.1, which had support for the Reverb G2. And um, you will need the OpenVR Space Calibrator, which can be downloaded here. As you can see from the link... Um, Uh, no, actually I thought it was the same developer for both of these uh, software, but it's not. It's two different developers, but they just work really well together and uh, are both developed for OpenVR. Uh, OpenVR Advanced Settings helps um, the uh, Space Calibrator to, to do some extra stuff uh, for setting this up. And, um, and the Space Calibrator is what helps calibrate the different tracking systems in SteamVR.
here I have the checklist for what you need to do to get this working. Install the software, uh, open VR advanced settings on the space pal calibrator. Um, Windows 10 might not be happy about this software because it's not um, something approved by Microsoft, um, doesn't have certain licenses or something. So you need to just uh, ensure that that it will install anyway. Uh, it might say this is uh, unapproved software and you have to click read more and then say run anyway. Then connect uh, the dongles or the Lighthouse headset that you uh, will be using to connect the controllers. You need to connect the VR headset, the one you're going to actually use. Oh, and ensure that the Lighthouse headset, if you're using a Lighthouse headset, that it's not connected with a display cable. Otherwise, SteamVR will just use that instead of anything else. Ensure that the Lighthouse base stations are turned on and not in power saving mode. Launch SteamVR. Activate the controllers if they are not active already. Run the calibration. Quit SteamVR. Turn on index controllers. Run SteamVR again. Finish the calibration if, uh, if they are still not fully calibrated. Uh, it's easier the second time because then you can actually see where where the controllers are uh, compared to your headset. While the first time you would only see the, for example, Quest controllers if you're using Oculus Quest. So now I'll try actually doing it. Um, so I start out by running Steam VR. Oh, and first I'm making sure that the head the Quest headset is ready. Um, and it is running right now, it's uh, running virtual desktop. And... As you can see, it um, it automatically starts the space calibrator, um, and I'll just show the headset. So here we have the view from um, from the Quest. So I have my Quest controllers, and they are hands. And on the desktop, we can see that it's all. Uh, well, but there's no index controllers, and that's because they are not activated yet. So now I'm turning them on, and they are getting discovered by the lighthouses. So here they are coming up, and they are ready for being calibrated. But since the active controllers, uh, when we started, were the quiz controllers, they are the ones that are active right now. Um, so I'll begin calibrating. We do this by selecting the left controller. And the left controller. And I take uh, the Quest left controller, um, and I'll show the VR view again. Oh, so first I click. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm holding my controller, but in the same hand I'm holding the the index controller. Uh, so I have the left index and Quest controller. And on the desktop, I still click Start Calibration, and I just move it around a bit in different directions and angles, um, because that gives it different samples to work with. Um, and it says it's finished. And now I'll do the same with the right controller. I'm holding them together. Um so here we have that have it. So we can't see the the uh, index controller right now or noggles controller as 
as the calibrator calls it. I start the calibration and I move these around a bit. Ensure that they are being tracked. Done. And now I'll close down SteamVR. And this disables, uh, this turns off my uh, index controllers. So I will turn on my index controllers again to ensure that they are ready. And when the light is green, I will start SteamVR again. Actually, it starts on its own because uh, these controllers work as, as an activator. And that was actually enough. It even seems to be correctly tracking them now. So I don't have to do any edit of, of it. The, the angle of them is correct and so on. Here we go. I'll just show. Here we go. And I can track the, the fingers and everything. Um, so this is the index controllers. And as we can see in the corner, it's showing the, the index controllers and the base station. And that, and that should be it for this video. Um, if you want to do the same, but using Oculus Link uh, or Oculus Rift, you, you just launch Steam VR. Uh, or you uh, launch Oculus Link, or you launch uh, Oculus and, and play that regularly, and then launch Steam VR and do this calibration the same way as, as I just showed. Uh, there's not really much special about that. Um, so yes, I hope this video will help you. This is a second go at, at making an instruction video for this. The first time I had, uh, I was just about to return my of index so I um, had to do that video pretty fast and it became a bit long and I didn't know how to do video ed editing either so this time around it's um, it's a bit more detailed I hope you found it useful and uh, leave a comment if you if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them have a nice day